maybe you can see me, maybe you can't. But it's our last day in the Dolomites and we're traveling this afternoon. And we thought what better way to start the day by catching the sunrise in the mountains. We've come to just hike up, well, we're running, running, but hiking at the moment up to Paso Padon where we went to on the first day and then, yeah it's just majestical as always the sorrows will be Today I woke up at 3 a.m. to come and do this. That must mean I've uh, I love doing this, and this is really inspirational for me. Or I'm just crazy. I'm going with the first part, but the first part you have to be a little bit crazy. So, but you know, <laughs> well worth it. Ask yourself, what would you wake up for 3 a.m. for? And then that's something you know that you truly love and are passionate about. It was magnificent. I loved every moment of it. Cherished every moment. And I'll save for every moment. And I'm glad to have shared this with you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it was just wonderful. All the details, click on the link down below my Strava if you want to see it. And it's named Giro de la Mesolina. And I think it's the 7th of July. That's what happens when you're on holiday, you forget what the date is. I know it's a Friday, that's all. Uh, there's my flights today. But, yeah, been absolutely amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. Right, I just want to explain one thing. Uh, this is what I had, all the stuff I had with me on the run. So I had my trail running poles, which I was carrying. I had this like little first aid kit that I've made. It's got toilet paper, some rock tape, plasters, a blister thing, some shea butter for like a kind of lube sort of thing, uh, credit card, ID, and some cash. Uh, I've got, had a buff, some arm sleeves, uh, which I put on for early in the morning and also good for sun protection. Half a litre of water, 
and I had, oh, I got back to that one, mobile phone on loud as well, and then one uh, sort of safety blanket, one pack of cliff blocks, which I didn't eat, just in case, one cliff, chocolate cliff shot, which I had, Sun to nine watch, and this waterproof jacket, because uh, it was quite chilly in the morning, and I just opened it. And then also, um, I had the route on my watch, but I also carry, I also carried, whoopsie, carry this uh, physical map, uh, as you can see, and I, maybe you can't see, but yeah, I followed the route, uh, this route here, so I did like that. But always good to carry a physical map as well, you never know what happens with technology and GPS offset or whatever. Um, if it, your battery dies, someone needs help, if you want to locate things, or just for fun. But also, you know, I got this map from the local tourist office, uh, sorry, the sun's there, local tourist office, and uh, it had like local walks, so it's not for the whole Dolomites, but for this uh, Marmalada uh, region, and it had about 18, 19 different walks, and they were all Per, like amazing I did we ran some of them we hiked some of them there was like varying from four kilometers to 20 kilometers uh, from difficult to easy and uh, I'd recommend go to the local tourist office and get their local map and they normally have you know hikes and walks and stuff that uh, probably only the local people know about even though you know you might think oh it's a touristy map it's not because you know half of these things as i said uh as you saw from yesterday's video maybe was around that emma and i did to the top of chima de punta del pinta i think it was called pina actually and didn't see one person we saw marmots we saw birds we saw sheep but yeah that's just a little tip for you